Happy Friday, everybody! Chris McDonald here, Linda, for all over Colorado, coming to you, of course, with my Friday market update. And one of my favorite things to do on this channel that I've been doing for years, and I just have so much fun with it, is debunking the junk that's on the news media, particularly in regards to housing market crashing. So, this week, sure enough, CNBC brings on Meredith Whitney, who is not a housing economist funny, but she goes on to talk about how we have a crisis on our hands, and the crisis is we have so many young males who are living at home with mom and dad, and they're not going to be going out and creating families. They're not going to be going out and buying houses. God, that is not happening, guys. So, if you knew the data, you would know that actually household formations are trending on the rise. And you would also know that the millennial demographic is the largest demographic that we have. And we have something called a millennial wave where this giant wave of new millennials is entering their prime home buying age. And guess what? They have better jobs than they've ever had in history. So the notion that demand's gonna crash because young men are living with mom is just plain silly. We have great future demand, and if people are living at mom, with mom, it's because of our housing shortage, not because that's their personal choice. People that are young men and are living with mom and have a good job generally aren't gonna just continue staying living with mom. Now, other news is big labor report comes out today. The market was expecting 200,000 jobs to be created. Instead, 300,000 were created. So this initially is really bad news for the bond market, but the bond market's kind of seeing through the noise a little bit on this one, which is good. Uh, basically, a huge number of these jobs were actually part-time jobs, and a lot of them, over 200,000 actually, people who are now getting their second jobs, showing that inflation is in fact taking its toll on the American household. So we kind of dodged a bullet with that one. The bond market did take a hit, so it's a little bit worse today, but mortgage rates are still kind of hovering around that 7% range right now. So that's the latest and greatest on mortgage and housing. If you have any questions about financing home, give us a call, let us know. If you like the video, click like. For sure, have an awesome weekend.